Ever wondered how to save money when every penny counts? How to make ends meet and still manage to put something aside for a rainy day? This is a challenge faced by many, but fear not. We're here to share some practical tips and strategies for saving money, even on a low income. Firstly, prioritize budgeting. It's essential to know exactly where your money is going. Make a list of your essential expenses like rent, utilities, and food. Then, identify areas where you can cut back. Maybe it's that daily takeout coffee or the premium cable package you rarely watch. Small changes can add up to significant savings over time. Secondly, consider using free budgeting apps. They can help you track your spending and identify patterns you might not notice yourself. These apps can be a real game changer in understanding your financial habits and making necessary adjustments. Thirdly, take advantage of discounts and sales when grocery shopping. Planning meals ahead of time will help you avoid unnecessary purchases and reduce food waste. Remember, every little bit helps when you're trying to save. Fourth, try to minimize your utility bills. Simple actions like turning off lights when you leave a room or unplugging devices when they're not in use can help lower your energy consumption and consequently your bills. Next, consider finding a side job or gig. With the rise of the gig economy, there are numerous opportunities to earn extra income. From freelance work to dog walking or selling handmade items online, there's something out there for everyone. Now let's talk about saving. It might seem impossible to save when you're living paycheck to paycheck, but even small amounts can add up over time. Try to save at least 10% of your income each month. If that's too much, start with 5% and gradually increase it as your financial situation improves. Lastly, consider investing. Yes, it might seem daunting, especially when you're just getting by, but investing doesn't always require large sums of money. There are investment platforms out there that allow you to start with small amounts. And remember, investing is a long-term game. It's about growing your wealth slowly but steadily. So to recap, saving money on a low income is not easy, but it's possible with careful planning and discipline. Prioritize budgeting, take advantage of discounts, minimize utility bills, consider a side job, save a portion of your income, and consider investing. It's a journey, but every step you take brings you closer to financial stability and peace of mind. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, but how much you save and invest. So, are you ready to start your journey towards financial freedom? Patience is a virtue, especially when it comes to saving money. We've talked about budgeting, minimizing bills, taking advantage of sales, and more. But one essential factor that often goes unnoticed is patience. The journey to financial stability is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Impulsivity is a major enemy of savings. That's right, those impromptu decisions to buy things you don't necessarily need can greatly impact your savings goal. It is important to learn to control those urges, to think twice before making a purchase. Ask yourself, is it a need or a want? Can it wait? Moreover, patience can also help you get the best deals. For instance, waiting for the right time to buy, such as during a sale, can save you a significant amount of money. Remember, good things come to those who wait. It might be tempting to want instant gratification, but the rewards of patience and perseverance are far sweeter. So, next time you're about to make a purchase, pause for a moment and consider the power of patience. Financial literacy plays a crucial role in managing your money effectively. It's not just about understanding how money works, but it's about understanding financial terms and concepts, such as interest rates, savings accounts, credit scores, and investments. This knowledge impacts your decision-making process and can help you make informed choices about your income, savings, and expenditure. For instance, knowing the difference between a high and low interest rate can influence your decisions on loans and credit cards, potentially saving you a significant amount of money in the long run, or understanding how an investment works can help you identify the right opportunities to grow your savings. But where do you start? There are numerous resources available to improve your financial literacy. Websites, online courses, books, and even podcasts can provide comprehensive guides to understanding finance. Your local library or community center may also offer free financial literacy workshops. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your finances. So, make it a priority to learn more about financial concepts. It may seem daunting at first, but remember, every step you take towards understanding your finances is a step towards achieving your savings goals and financial stability. Setting financial goals is a fundamental step towards successful money management. It provides a clear direction and purpose to your saving and spending habits. 
Think of your journey to financial stability as a road trip. Without a destination in mind, you'll just end up driving aimlessly. But with a well-defined goal, you have a place to reach, a roadmap to follow, and milestones to celebrate. There are two types of financial goals, short-term and long-term. Short-term goals could be saving for a vacation, paying off a small debt, or creating an emergency fund. Long-term goals, on the other hand, could be saving for retirement, buying a house, or paying off your mortgage. The beauty of setting these goals is that they give you motivation. Each time you achieve a goal, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment, encouraging you to save more. But remember, your financial goals need to be realistic and achievable. Start small and gradually work your way up. Also ensure your goals are specific. Instead of saying, I want to save more, say, I want to save $5,000 by the end of the year. This gives you a clear target to aim for. So take some time today to identify your financial goals. Write them down, make a plan, and start working towards them. After all, a goal without a plan is just a wish. With a clear vision and a solid plan, you'll be well on your way to achieving your financial dreams.